I never really understood religion. I would have told you when I was a kid that I believed in God. Thanks. That's what I was taught to believe. Happy birthday, Toddy, darling. But I also would have told you that I wanted that present to be a Buzz Lightyear. And that I wanted to spend Sunday mornings watching cartoons with my older brother, Ed. Honestly, I don't think either one of us could have pointed to a single moment when it happened. God has said, never will Though it I might be fair to say it started at Sunday school. Why aren't there dinosaurs in the Bible? I guess that over the years, curiosity just got the better of us. And eventually, religion stopped being relevant. Maybe it never was. That's not to say that we ever got our Sunday mornings back. Although we tried. For Miss Riley. <laughs> yeah, right. I'd like yeah, to tell you point. that we came to a mutual understanding with our parents. Smart kid, you what are you boys doing out here? Get back inside. But if you knew our mum, you'd forgive us for never really trying. For her, faith was a matter of rule and discipline. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. Ed and I snuck out of Mass today to go and play inside. She built her entire life around her faith. And she expected the same of us. Bless us, O oh Lord, and these thy gifts which we are about to receive. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty. We also give thanks for bringing our Ed Jr. back to the family table tonight. We miss him since he's left home. But through our faith, we remain united. May you continue to watch over us and keep us together and safe. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Is there something you wanted to add to the prayer, Tommy? No, thanks, Mum. Peace. No, thanks. Come on, you love this. Ed, I hear you've got Mark's Bucks party tomorrow night. Yeah, should be fun. Fun is an interesting word to describe it. Well, Toddy, looks like you'll be helping me prepare for church on Sunday. Father wants an inventory of the piety stall. Uh, tomorrow night I can't. Why not? I'm heading over to Jason's to study for our exam. Isn't Jason Mark's brother? Won't he be at the party? Uh, uh, Jason's not allowed to go either. Ah. Don't you lie for him. All right, I'm going to the party. You absolutely are not. Why not? Because I will not have my younger son cavorting around with strippers all night. Come on, Mark is one of our best friends. Doesn't matter. You will stay home and you will be at Mass on Sunday morning sober. Mum, I'll go next week. Todd. I shouldn't have to remind you that to willfully miss Mass is a mortal sin. <clears throat> Perhaps it's best if you stayed at home, Todd. No! Why is it fine for Ed to go and not me? Because Ed doesn't live under my roof. And he has to... Well, that's it, is it? Well, I'll move out then. I'm going. You can't stop me. Take the car, make sure he's home by midnight, and I want to see both of you at Mass before the offertory on Sunday morning. Midnight, huh? Yeah. I'm sick of this. It sucks, man. Being a closet atheist. Could be worse. Could be gay. Then what would you wear around your neck to say, Mom, I swear I'm straight? Hey, don't knock this. What's your brilliant plan? Sorry. It's OK. Why don't you do it, man? Just move out. Hello? Poor student. Oh, fuck, man. We come and check out you. Just need a little dress, maybe a push-up bra. <laughs> Beep. Beep. Thank you. <laughs> Trust me. You move out. Far enough away that you're in a different parish. They think you go to church. 
And then they're happy. You're happy. Win-win, yeah? Yeah. So I'll pick you up tomorrow at 7. No. It's an epic detour. I'll just meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Will you piss off? <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, man. I saw a man on television once, thank God, because he won the lottery. I've always found it odd that people perceive divine purpose in chance events. the idea of divine purpose helps you feel more in control. Maybe it doesn't feel right that chance can determine something so life-changing. It's easier if you believe that everything happens for a purpose. Hello? Yeah. I wouldn't know. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour, hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Todd? Not now, please. This is the best time. May you please just do something else? Darling, Ed needs our prayers for the He's sake dead. of his eternal soul. World without end, Toddy. He's dead. This isn't a fairy tale. I beg your pardon? Nothing. How can you not pray for your brother after what you've done? What I've done? What's that supposed to mean? If you hadn't gone to that party, then Edward would never have had to drive there. Are you serious? Are you actually fucking serious? Listen to yourself. Ed only had to drive because of you. God did this to teach you a lesson, Todd. A lesson? Well, I don't want anything to do with a fucking psychopath then. Todd. Toddy, you can't. You can't abandon your faith at the time you need it most. Mum, Ed and I abandoned our faith when we were in high school. It went to mass. We only went because we were terrified of you. Ed was a Catholic. He was confirmed. He was an atheist. So am I. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Perhaps it might be best if, if you go to some space. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Six. He used to love to play on the steps outside the old house, you remember? And then one day, he decided to jump all the way down them. <laughs> he ended up bruised and scabbed from head to toe. And he cried and he cried while Mum fixed him up, but within the hour, he tried to do it again. Poor Mum went berserk and locked him inside, but, but I was proud. I don't know if he ever... Jump them properly. I'd like to know if he did. <laughs> Can I come in? Yeah. Ah, uh, son, we've we booked the funeral. Be at St. Patrick's on Friday. Okay. Dad. Uh, Todd. Uh, you, your mother and I thought it would be best if you stayed at Ed's apartment. See you at the funeral. going to say the rosary for Ed tonight. All together. Come on, darling. You're only battling yourself. You need to be with your family. Sadness, dear friends, is a powerful emotion. And I know that your hearts are filled with deep sadness today. And in times like this, when one so young has been taken from us, it is easy to stray 
from our Lord's path and become lost in darkness. But do not falter, for our Lord hears your doubt. He knows your grief, and he is always present to guide you back into the light where you will find comfort. Which is why, in times of great hurt, we must open our hearts and allow his love to fill us. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And if you believe this, as we who are gathered here today believe, you will have eternal comfort through our Lord Jesus Christ. Young Edmund Jr. knew this well. Young Edmund Jr. who truly was a man of Christ. since you died. I've been waiting to see you again so I can talk to you about it. Pretty dumb, huh? Yeah. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> no one's listening. Yeah, I'm still talking to myself though. So, you know, Mark postponed his wedding. Poor guy. It isn't fair. Yes, it is. Luck is always fair, Todd. I didn't deserve to die any less than anyone else. You know, this reminds me of when we used to sneak out of church. We'd wait until the hymn started so no one could hear us and play cards around the back. We had to use pebbles as chips. Yeah. And always the same old crappy Batman deck of yours with the missing ten. I loved Batman. <laughs> and remember when the father caught us? And he told mum and dad, so we let down his tires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I've been grounded so long in my life. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. It was awesome. We made it fun. Todd? Dad. Hi. Hey. Um, I brought you this. You should hang on to it. Thanks. Dad, I'm sorry. It's, I... it's okay. Look, the other night, 
You're welcome to live at our place whenever you like, sir. Thanks. I think I'll stay at Ed's, though. And I don't think God did this to teach anyone a lesson. Mum was upset when she said that. I know. I don't believe in God, Dad. I better be getting back. I'll be on for the eulogy in a tick. Will you walk with me? Sure. 